if you look over the back here, look right down here, just, just where my finger is pointing is the high pressure fuel pump. And this item here is the suction control valve. Just before I release the suction valve, I'm going to take it a rag and I'm going to clean up around the base of the valve as much as I can. Because obviously we're going to release the valve and it plugs into the high pressure pump, which is obviously diesel for the engine. And we don't want any debris dropping in the hole where the pump comes out. Alright, so we're going to remove the three T25 Torx bolts from the... Uh, Suction valve. Reasonably tight. There's one slackened off. Next one. Yeah, really quite tight actually for the size of the bolt. Probably got some uh, thread lock on to them coming loose. We'll soon see once they're, once they're fully out. Okay, that's the three of them cracked off. One thing you might notice is I've left the rag underneath the uh, the valve there because we're likely to lose just a, a few drops of diesel once. So. Give this a little wheel. Got that? You see that's free now that suction valve so I'll give it a little twist um, you can feel some rubbers there and there we are just pop pop the valve out and there we have it so the Bosch pressure control valve uh, is not possible to disassemble without destroying it not easily then I would never say anything is impossible but certainly not not feasible. There's the part number of it if you need it. Um, twin twin connector. Um, some some control valves have a circle come in the end, which you could could remove, but not not this boss version. can do I'll make sure the piston's free you can insert a small screwdriver which is this into the hole if you get it just down the side and rotate it it'll just fit down down and then you can you can make it out but you can turn turn the screwdriver it will actually rotate the, the piston. If you just wedge the screwdriver a little bit tighter and pull it upwards you can just get a little bit of movement on the on the piston itself. You can see that there that the piston has been dragged dragged up and down by the screwdriver. You only get a little, very small amount of movement if you pull too hard then the, the spring pressure that's resisting that piston is too great and the 
the screwdriver will just pop out. But it's enough to see that the the piston is free as it should be and moves up and down. So just, just as I pull it just up and down there I can feel it pulling against the spring in the top. And I pull a bit harder, it just pops out and it's free of the piston. Uh, if you want to check that the coil is active on the uh, suction valve, what you can do is plug in the harness, turn the ignition to, to number two, and you'll feel it vibrating. Let's see if you get it in the right direction. You can hear that, you can actually hear it just, just vibrating that little bit. So now it's time to refit the pressure control valve. So we must make sure that everything is spotlessly clean and I've just smeared a slight bit of oil onto the O-rings to make sure they slide in easily and they're not damaged on the way into the hole. I've also cleaned up the, um, the mating surfaces as much as I can on the high pressure pump. So we're now off of the, the control valve back into the, into the hole. And just give a little wiggle and a push. It should pop down into into position. And there we are. Okay. The first one started. Okay, so we changed the pressure control valve, now we're going to try and restart. And it obviously just turns over for a fraction of a second longer than it should. And there we have it, the pressure control valve removed and refitted.